this is this is a bad start to our best school year ever. And I think kids are really going to experience that. They're, they're going to come in and feel it right away that their community and their teachers are behind them and people are working really hard to get things ready for them to come to school. People across Kelloland are picking up the pieces after a strong thunderstorm slammed several communities last night with strong wind, large hail, heavy rain, and lightning. And there was even a report of a brief tornado in the small town of Burke. It left behind a tremendous amount of damage, including the high school. But most of the mess was caused by straight line winds clocked anywhere between 80 and 100 miles per hour. Yeah, and a lot of it is just kind of how it looks. You know, if you look at the part to the north here, anything north of the brick building in the middle school, high school area, it looks like it's pretty decimated, and that's, you know, those parts aren't going to be open this school year. But looking at this brick structure, it looks like it fared pretty well, and you can see right up there uh, a lot of debris struck the building and, and did some damage, and we had a lot of water damage inside. But, but this building will be open September 4th for our first day of school. We pushed back two weeks. So our plan is to have, have classes in the old high school building and in the elementary building and then we're going to do like some music at some local churches. Uh, you know churches, those spaces work really well for uh, band and choir and that kind of thing and um, we're going to gain, we lost five classrooms in, in that part of the building and through some reshuffling and we're building a couple new classrooms in the, in the big library in this old building and so we're going we're gonna to gain some more classrooms there, and, and we're, we're going to make it fit. Well, this bench here says, you got this, and it's got a T.O. on there. Um, you know, Tony Oprick was a, was a uh, big supporter in our community, a big, big supporter of our school, and his wife is uh, our sixth grade teacher here in Burke, and uh, Tony was our insurance agent. And uh, we lost Tony. Suddenly he passed away uh, about two years ago. And it was quite a blow to our community and obviously to his family. But one of the, one of the neat things, you know, and I, I look at that, that bench and it reminds me of Tony. Uh, and our, you know, our current insurance agent is doing a great job, working really hard. But our policy coverage has been just far beyond adequate. And we just, it, it's, it's been kind of fun through this. And it's a little bit emotional uh, for, our, for our community and our, our family, school family. But we, we look at all these things that are happening. and. We're very well covered, and, and the, there's just no gaps in the policy, and, and a lot of that is because Tony took good care of us, and, and so it's been kind of fun to see that even though he's not here with us, uh, it's been fun to see the, the fruits of his labors because he worked really hard to make sure we were covered. You know, we've, we've just really, I mean, people have really taken good care of us and helped us out so much already. Um, we, we just appreciate all the support.